So the logic of this is it, um, the wisdom generation comes from people uh, really hearing each other, um, learning a lot about whatever it is that they're um, deliberating on or considering. Uh, and people don't, people don't come automatically with sufficient information uh, about something and they don't necessarily come with the capacity to really hear each other and think well together uh, and feel into things. It helps to have good, um, good process, good facilitation, good information. There's lots of uh, setup and making sure that people uh, are able to show up, you know, somebody needs childcare, whatever. Um, there's lots of things that go into having a really high quality conversation and even more that goes into having a, <clears throat> a what I call a wisdom generating conversation where people are taking a, a broad perspective, stepping out of their usual frames of thinking. Very often you need uh, to bring in people who are able to help them see things that aren't easily seen by ordinary people, like the dynamics that go on in systems. Uh, so we think we're gonna do that with a whole population with uh, you know, thousands of people, millions of people. That's pretty near impossible. There, there simply aren't resources for that and people might not be willing to participate, et cetera. So if you can get a group of people who have the kind of diversity uh, which exists in the larger population, in the case of, for example, a city, you have particular demographics, you have particular kinds of people. Demographics is one easy cut of the population. Uh, so if you can get the same number of women, same number of people of color, same number of, uh, of various kinds of diversity of that kind, uh, that, um, that will cover the ground lar largely. Um, but it's also pure random selection will give a lot of even greater diversity uh, kinds of diversity you don't even think of, like who is an intuitive person as opposed to a you know, rational kind of person. You want a diversity of cognitive styles, of ways of thinking uh, present also. Uh, diversity of experience, it's just endless kinds of diversity. Random selection tends to do that, do that well. But you're looking for something that uh, embodies the diversity of the, of the population in that case. Or if you're doing a, uh, uh, doing a stakeholder dialogue. It's like you want to have, you know, you're doing what should be done about this lake uh, and you want to deal with the, the uh, um, people who are using it for uh, enjoyment, you know, the fisher people and boating people and swimming people and you want to have the environmentalists there, you want to have the governor, people who are in charge of governing it, uh, you want to have any farmers who might be using the water for something, etc. You have lots of different people who have an interest in what's going on there, uh, the decision makers who are gonna have to decide on it. Uh, so the, that in that effort, you wanna have these different kinds of people. You wanna have, okay, let's look at the fisher people. Are there different kinds of fisher people or just any kind of, okay, let's have two fisher people and let's have uh, some swimmers. Oh, but there's some divers and water skiers and whatever, you're trying to get a number of people who have different interests in this uh, in this lake to have them show up so that, you know, when something comes up, well, what if we do this? They could say, well, that's going to affect people like me in this way, or I have some special knowledge because of my particular interest or skill uh, that can you know, go into feeding our growing wisdom about how to deal with this. Um, so again, the, the idea of a cross section or a full spectrum <clears throat> is what makes it into a microcosm and having a uh, few tens of people or hundreds of people. And there is a lot of different theory about whether you can do that with two dozen people or whether you need 300 people or whatever. Um, and that's all arguable, but it's all the idea of the microcosm to uh, have, have those different aspects of the issue you're dealing with uh, show up in the conversation and have the interests and needs of the participants uh, met. If you can do that in the microcosm, it's sort of like a, a survey, a public opinion survey. You know, you're getting a group of people at random who will reflect the different perspectives of the people out at, at large. You come much closer to finding something that will be satisfying to that whole population, the larger population outside the macrocosm, uh, and contain um, the kind of wisdom that you get if you really could engage 
all those people in an affordable way. Um, so that's that's what I why I use the the language here to focus on microcosms. 